What's up YouTube, Oki Boy here. Today I'm going to be doing a quick a quick video showing you guys how to play your games in 1080p on a 4K screen without having the annoying box in the middle of the screen and it actually projects this projects the game into full screen mode. I've got Dying Light here, uh, which we're gonna run and we want to be able to play it in full screen mode. Obviously this is this is a 4K screen, so anyone with a 4K screen laptop is gonna have this sort of problem unless they follow these steps or similar steps. Okay, it's loading up so you can see 1080p resolution on a 4K screen, it shows it in a shrunk down box in the center of the screen. I'll just skip these. Uh, the you think it'd be easy to go into the settings on the game and set it into 1080p and that'd be job done. That's not the case. Even on the desktop, if we set it to the same. Uh, it, will, it, it will still do exactly the same as this, so you need to follow these steps briefly. Um, even if we do it in the game, like I said, it doesn't make any difference. I mean, you can see here where the cursor is. That's the only difference. The, the, the screen is quite shrunk down. So in order to get it to display in full screen mode, you can come out of the game. And we're going to right click on the desktop. Right click on the desktop. Go into graphic properties, right? Graphic options, resolution. You do it the quick way here, and we can select 1920 by 1080 here. Okay, and I notice the icons are massive. That's because they've been upscaled, so they display properly on a 4K screen. So you can go into personalized display and then put them back onto medium, which is what they are default for 1080. We need to sign out and then sign back in again. Okay, there we go. So now the screen is in 1080p. We're going to run the game again, just to, just to prove a point. Should it is pretty rapid to be fair. So all right, I am filming on my iPhone, so apologies for the the dodgy lighting. I've got some extra lights in the room trying to get it to run up. Let me see here. mode if we put it into full screen as you can see it does go back to the center again we've got this annoying 1080p in the in the center of the screen so what you need to do once again if we right click on the desktop go into graphic properties opens up the Intel HD graphics control panel so I do this through here not through the Nvidia one click on display and you've got the resolution which is here, which is the 1080p resolution. You need to click the scale full screen button. I know it sounds very simple, but I, I was playing around with it for about half an hour before I managed to figure this out. I had a look on the Alienware forum and someone had tweaked it. But I did, thought I'd do a quick video just to show you guys how to do it yourselves. So we OK this. And run dying light again. And now we should have full full screen without the annoying box in the middle, scaling it down. It should be in full screen mode, there we go. And you see it's actually in full screen, it's not in a windowed mode because we've got no gray box around the top. Um, if you want a for game in 4K, I mean obviously you can do, but the 970M is not gonna be powerful enough. And I don't think the 980M would be powerful enough to play any new titles like Dying Light or anything recent, especially nothing like Crisis or anything like that's gonna be able to play in, uh, in 4K mode without the amplifier and a decent graphics card to go in there. Uh, and pretty much that is the end of this video really so I mean that's, this video goes out to FPS, FPS Victory comment on my other video asking me just to do a brief video showing you how to do this if you've got any questions feel free to drop me a message or a comment on the video please like, subscribe and I shall see you guys later on